Today, we are playing through Robot Quest Arena, published by Wise Wizard Games. It's a deck building game, but the twist is we use our cards to control these little robots. You score points by dealing damage to your opponents, and of course, most points wins. Let's jump right into the game. You start with a hand of five cards. Abby, you're gonna go first, so go ahead. Players start with a basic deck of one jump jets, one hammer, and eight batteries. Jump Jets gives you movement as you can see here. Hammer is an attack card. Here is its damage output and this symbol shows it's a melee attack, meaning you need to be next to an opponent to hit them with it. There are also ranged attacks we can pick up from the shop later. Finally are the battery cards. They can be used to either move your robot one tile per battery or can be spent to purchase cards from the shop. I'm going to spend one battery to purchase the Pit Stop. I lost horribly to this card before. Go straight to my discard pile. Let's take a moment now to briefly explain the anatomy of a card. Up here you have the cost, which is paid for with batteries. You have the card type here, and the effect down here. For example, every time you play Pit Stop, you'll get one victory point, two batteries, and you can heal a robot for three hit points. After acquiring a new card, it goes into your discard pile to be shuffled into your deck later. And then I have three more batteries, so I'm actually going to buy a second card, and that's my turn. So she just bought an advanced battery. So the regular battery cards that you start with only give you one energy. The advanced battery gives you three energy. So these cards are always here. These are always available. Advanced battery, heavy hammer, and rivet gun. So I just have five energy to spend. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and buy an advanced battery and a heavy hammer. And I'm not gonna take any actions. And then it goes back to Abby. So at the start of your turn, because she's in the middle, you get a victory point. Let's use my jumping jets to move two. And then I have four battery I'm gonna spend. Let's use one to get Strider here on a special spot. And then I'm just gonna buy an advanced battery. Now, that's the end of my deck. So now I just shuffle it back up and draw five. My turn. So I wanna try and get into the middle because I need to start to gain some victory points as well. So I'm gonna move crate. We're gonna go one, two. So we're gonna use one movement to move a little closer, and then I'm gonna use two, my last two battery to grab dash. So that gives me plus one move and draw a card. And I shuffle and draw a new five, and now it is Abby's turn. You may have noticed Abby's robot got to start in the center of the board, while everyone else started on one of these spawn spaces. That's because Pug's special ability allows it to spawn right in the center nine spaces. Let's take a look at the other robots and their special abilities. Rob is playing with Petrie. When you get a knockout with Petrie, you take an extra victory point and draw a card. Rob is also playing with Crate. Normally, you may push an opponent's robot one space away from you by spending two energy. If they bump into an obstacle, they take one damage. Doing this to Crate costs three energy instead. Plus, he has more health than the other robots. And finally, with Abby's other robot, Strider, once per turn, she can pay two energy to perform an attack with range two for one damage. I get a victory point because I'm still in that inner nine. I get an extra battery move because I'm here. Now would be a good time to briefly run through the special spaces. We've seen the spawn points here. These four spaces have an effect at the start of your turn, if you have a robot on that space. This one lets you scrap a card from your hand. It is now removed from your deck for the rest of the game. This space lets you draw a card and then discard a card. This one gives you one extra energy to use that turn, and this one gives you one victory point and heals your robot by one hit point. If you manage to push your opponent into the pits, they take two damage. Lastly, these spaces are obstacles, blocking your line of sight when shooting other robots and cannot be moved through. All right, so I'm gonna play pit stop first. So I get two extra battery and I get a victory point. And your characters are fully healed, but you would be able to heal three with yeah. that. I think I'm gonna spend three to buy a rivet gun, which is a ranged attack. And then I have two floating from my pit stop. And with the two floating, I'm gonna get dash. By floating, she means leftover. <laughs> All right, so my turn. I have three battery, two move, and an attack. I go jump jets, like one, two. I wanna try and get some victory points here. But I still wanna just like make my deck better. That's a tough one. So I spent three energy for Optimize. So I'm missing out on an attack, but I'm improving my deck. So that's a good one. And refill the shot. Okay, so I don't really like that you're getting closer to me here, but I think I'm just gonna go a little crazy. And I have seven. Well, Ooh. I get one victory point for being in there. And I get extra battery for him being there. So mm -hmm. I have, I actually have three, four, five, six, seven, eight currency or moves. I'm gonna do a rocket punch. 
And that costs three. three. So you flip a card four immediately. Left. Ooh, Ooh man, I wish that one was there. I'm gonna buy another advanced battery and just lose out on that last one. Okay. Go ahead. All right, so I'm in the middle, so I get a victory point. And then I just have seven battery to spend. So I'm gonna buy the laser cannon, and that is my turn. Okay, now it's my turn. I get a victory point for still being in there. I get an extra battery for him. I think I'm going to attack you twice. I'm going to attack Crate Ooh. twice. For three damage for total. For three total. Rocket Punch and Rubica. Um, are you going to scrap a card for Rocket Punch? We'll do that. You're going to discard your battery? Advanced battery? Well, because Crate has how much health? Seven. Seven, so that would be six damage. Yeah, let's get Crate down to six damage. Okay. <laughs> bold, bold move. <sighs> All right, so you're okay. doing six damage to me? Yep. I mean, hey, six victory points. That's not bad. Um, so see, she takes my health as victory points. Yes. And Crate is almost donezo. And then I'm just going to one, two. I have one more leftover battery from Strider being on there. So it's my second one. I'm just going to go ahead and buy a heavy hammer. Okay. Beat up here. So I get my victory point for being in the middle. He's going to get knocked out if I let him stay there. It's not the worst thing to get knocked out, but she gets an extra victory point. All right, so I'm going to play this, move and draw a card. So we're going to go here. We're going to go two movement with the two batteries. I'm going to go laser cannon. No. So this is the card I just bought. It deals damage to each robot in a straight line away from you. Oh, no. So we're going to deal three to Strider and three to Pug. And then I'm going to go heavy hammer Strider for two and Hammer Strider for one. Oh, and now Strider is knocked out. So we get a knockout on Strider. Strider has to go back to a respawn point at the start of the next turn. So that was a good turn for me, I think. And then we're going to draw five, and now it's Abby's turn. Okay, so I need to enact some revenge here. So you respawn. Pick we're going to go here. Set right back where he was. And then, again, we refill with blue and red cubes. Whoa. These blue cubes are very important for two reasons. First, if you get a knockout on an opponent, you get to collect the blue cube on their player board. It is worth two victory points at the end of the game. Second, when a robot respawns on the following turn, they refill their player board with one blue cube and the remaining spaces with red cubes. When a player needs to respawn a robot and there are no blue cubes left in the supply, the game ends immediately. There are five respawns left. We're just going to use two batteries to go... Oh, just use one actually. That's <laughs> all I need is one. And then I'm going to hammer crate. Boom. One. Okay, so crate's knocked out. And I get that coveted blue cube. Oh, sorry. I gave it to myself. Okay. Apologies. And I did start with pug in the middle, so I did get a red cube for that. And then I have three, so I'm going to go buy an advanced battery since I trashed my last one. Okay. My turn? Mm hmm Okay, so I just have five battery to spend. Okay, well, first of all, respawn. And he has six health. He's a bulky fella. And then, let's see, five movement. I could, like, move twice and then buy. That seems pretty good. Or I could just pay five to buy something. I could move one. kind of need some advanced batteries, I think. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm just going to spend five battery for, man, this is really tough. I don't, I'm really not sure. I'm going to move two and grab optimize. I'm going to stick with my gut there. Ooh, boomerang. Okay. So my turn, I get a, another victory point for still being in the middle. And then I'm actually going to use my pit stop card, which grabs me another red cube, gives me two extra batteries this turn and heals three. Poor pug is back at full health. Um, so I have two extra batteries from this. So now I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten batteries to Ooh. spend. I'm going to go ahead and grab the mortar oh for eight. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I have two left over, so I'm going to grab a heavy hammer. Oops. Oops, sorry. It's okay. I'm going to play Optimize. I get two victory points. I can scrap a card in my hand or discard pile. So I'm going to scrap one of my batteries, which only gives me four to spend, but that's okay because I'm going to grab the boomerang. And then I have a move two, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go mm, one, two. <laughs> grab your victory point. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I, so I know you have that laser cannon, so I definitely don't want my, my two robots in a straight line. So this way you can't just destroy me again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a dash to move. And then I also get to draw a card. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move two. This gets to jump over obstacles, my jump jet. So I'm going to do one, two, one more. And then I'm going to, I think right now I'm kind of safe. 
So with my last two, I'm actually gonna buy a heavy hammer. And then, unfortunately, you're out of range for my rocket punch. Oh, uh, you could do it to um, that guy. It's, range it's three? one, two, three. So yeah, let's go ahead and we're gonna hit uh, P tree for, for one, one with the rocket punch. Okay, and there you go. Thank you. Um, so I have an optimize plus two victory points, scrap a card in your hand or discard pile. I'm gonna scrap a battery in my discard pile. Nice. And then I have one, two, three, four to spend. Oh, let's do this. Lots of, this is interesting, like Omni wheels. I don't really know. I think I need attacks. I'm gonna buy a rivet gun. I need to, I have two, I'm drawing too many batteries. All right, your turn. So because both of my robots are in the middle, I Oh, and I had one extra battery, so I'm gonna move him up. Okay. Sorry, I forgot to okay. that last one. And then let's see. So I'm going to move to. I feel like you're really kicking my butt here. <laughs> I'm gonna move Strider 2. I'm going to rivet gun you for two damage. And I'm gonna hammer you for one. And I'm going to attempt to make a hasty retreat and just with my last battery, move up one. Okay. Kind of puts me in laser cannon it position, sure does. but I maybe don't have the card. Okay, so I'm gonna use battery to move one. Oh no. I'm gonna laser cannon you. So <laughs> I just said. Three to strider. I was thinking of moving the other way, but I really wanted the victory point. Three to I was, a little, I was a little greedy. Oh no. Please and don't have anything else to finish me off. I'm gonna heavy hammer you for two. So I get the last two. All right, Strider, you're out. And then I'm gonna use my last battery to move back into the scrap space. Okay. And then I draw one, and then shuffle and draw four more. Okay, so Strider gets back on the board. You know what, this this spot feels like home. And then you get to grab a cube for being in the middle. Yeah, and I'm also gonna trade out five like of my cubes. getting so many points from that. I know, sometimes it's nice to just sit and wait it out a little bit. Yeah, I'm not really able to pressure you in there, unfortunately. The good thing is I'm gonna play my pit stop. So that will at least heal Pug up two, um, three cubes. So she's on, she's filled back up, gets two batteries, and I get an extra red cube. I think all this turn, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to spend six on the crossbow. <sighs> I wanted that. Range attacks are really helpful. Yes. And then... A lot of functions. I have one battery left, so I'm gonna use it for movement, and let's just sneak our way up here again. All right, your turn. So I can scrap a card. I'm gonna scrap another battery. I'm gonna dash in here, move and draw a card. Yeah, I'm gonna optimize so I gain two victory points and I can scrap a card in my hand or discard pile. I'm gonna buy another advanced battery for three and I'm gonna hammer no one. Yeah, And then I, draw I like that move. So my turn and I am going to... Victory point for the middle. Thank you. Yep. So one, two, three, four. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna actually use the mortar which ignores line of sight. Okay. So I'm going to just hit crate for four to knock him out. Boom. Thank you. Mortar's pretty good. Yes. All right, so he's done. I don't get to scrap. I'm going to use two battery movements to do one, two, and then advanced battery, I'm gonna use my rivet gun. All right, my turn, I respawn. So we're gonna respawn here. We're down to two respawns. Uh, we're gonna optimize. Should I scrap here? Yeah, I probably should, right? Optimize for two victory points. You may scrap a card in your hand or discard pile. No, I'm not supposed to, because I need to use them for movement. So I'm gonna go one, two. Oh, I get to draw and discard. I forgot to do that. I can draw and discard. If I discard this, I only have one movement. Yeah, so I have to, I just draw and discard this. Uh, I move twice, so I'm gonna go one, two. Oh, come closer. I'm gonna rivet gun, pug, and then I laser cannon, just pug, unfortunately. For three. So Pug is baba. Pug has been hanging out in the middle the entire yeah, game. But the beauty of Pug is her respawning point. So my turn? Yes. One blue cube left. So I'm gonna heal her up and she's right back in the game. But guess what? We're gonna start right here. Because I'm on here, I get an extra battery movement. This is a little risky, but we're gonna go for it. One, two with my jump jets. I'm gonna do one with a battery. Ooh. And then I'm going to hit you for two with the heavy hammer. So that's going to Petrie. And then I cannot finish you off. I'm only doing one more. Nice. And then, so I had an extra battery from here that I haven't used yet. So I technically, once per turn, Strider's ability is use two Ooh, battery nice. to have an attack, a one attack with a range two. So that actually worked out. I'm going to knock out Petrie. Okay. Here I was thinking the match nice didn't stuff. work out in my favor. All right, and that's all for my turn. Okay, so we're gonna go 
Respawn Petrie, this is the last respawn of the game. So the next knockout ends the game. Which has me a little worried because yep. Crate has so much health, so. So we're gonna go dash, move and draw. So if I move twice with jets, yeah, it doesn't really make a difference, I don't think. So one, two, optimize, so two resources, scrap a card in my hand. And we're gonna go boomerang to hit pug for two. Okay, that's not good. You take those? Yep, and then um, that's my turn. Okay. Boomerang comes back if I get a knockout with it, but I unfortunately did not. I am going to grab two cubes because both of my robots are in the center. So good. I'm going to use my dash to move one and draw a card. And go here, draw a card. So if I go here, that's range two, right? Range yes. Two. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So then I'll oh, do no. I'll do battery. I'm going to rivet gun, which has a range of two, to Petrie. Thank you. And then I'm going to rocket punch to deal one to Petrie. Now I'm a little nervous to be this close to crate, especially when Pug is kind of low on health. So I'm gonna. I have four battery left. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. But this leaves me in line for any laser cannons you might have. Does it? Oh, but not not a not double. Both. Not a double. Up, All right, yeah. roll the dice on that one. Here go. So we're just trying to get a knockout, trying to get as many points as we can because I think this is the end of the game here. Optimize, gain two victory points, scrap a card in my discard pile. Batteries are not worth points, so we don't lose anything there. I could hit Strider, range of two, and laser cannon. Yeah, that's the most points. So we're gonna move up one here. We're gonna rivet gun for two, and we're gonna laser cannon for three. No. And that will be oh, no. the last thing. I have I have a couple battery left, but there's no other way for me to earn points. Uh, so that's the end of my turn. It passes to Abby's turn. She tries to respawn, but she cannot. So that will end the game. Now we're going to count up our points and let's see how we did. If he did not have that. You had a good attack I to was the about game. to finish the game. 36 points for me. 32, 34, 36, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Good game. I'll win one day. <laughs>